This video is a description of a simple technique for the management of dermal avulsion injuries. It serves as a compendium and update to my publication from the Journal of Emergency Medicine earlier this year, describing a technique using a combination of limb elevation, a tourniquet, and tissue adhesive glue in order to stop these wounds from bleeding. The first new additional step is to soak the digit in 1% lidocaine with epinephrine prior to beginning the procedure. Let's hear from a patient what it feels like. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Stings a little. Stings not, a little. Not okay. too bad. Not too bad. This step simultaneously adds vasoconstriction and anesthesia. The technique was first described in the Academic Life and Emergency Medicine blog. The second additional tip is the use of a just right finger tourniquet. So I find that when you use most commercially available finger tourniquets, or if you just take a regular tourniquet and tie it around the finger, it's kind of an all or none phenomenon. It's gonna be really tight on the patient's finger. They're not gonna be able to tolerate it for very long and probably not long enough for the glue to dry in this procedure. So here's a trick. Take a sliver of a tourniquet, cut as shown, and a pair of hemostats or needle drivers. Place that piece of tourniquet around the finger secure the needle driver around the piece of tourniquet, and then just simply crank it up to a level that's just right. By just right, I mean enough to get hemostasis, but not so much that the patient can't tolerate it. As previously described, you're going to want to elevate that limb in order to decrease regional blood flow. And another important step is to milk that digit from proximal to distal to completely exsanguinate it and decrease the risk of bleeding while the glue is drying, which can ruin the procedure. A key step, before you apply the glue, you want to observe for complete hemostasis of the wound. No bleeding at all from that fingertip wound. Then, and only then, can you proceed with the next step, which is to apply layers of tissue adhesive glue over the injury site. Multiple layers can be used to ensure adequate coverage and hemostasis. As you see, that glue forms a thick pool, especially in deeper pits of wounds. So let me describe a third tip that will help you to combat this problem. Take a piece of suction tubing, attach it to your compressed air source, and create a mini blow dryer which you can basically apply to the wound in order to speed the drying of that glue. Finally, once the glue is dried, you can release that tourniquet from the wound, again just by unwinding that needle driver and releasing the tourniquet. At this point, you should have a completely hemostatic seal over the wound, as you see here. As with all applications of tissue adhesive glue, it'll remain present for about five days, will naturally slough off, and you will have created a completely hemostatic wound cover for the initial stages of healing. For this and other videos on wound care, visit www.lacerationrepair.com.